Hi, thanks for checking out our channel here. This is going to be, maybe, a uh, how to repair video to a point. At least how to test it out. It's on a Speedrite AN20. It's a little, uh, a little rinky dink thing, but it's um, for what it's designed to do. It does a okay job. It runs off of um, uh, two D cell batteries. The hide inside here. Uh, they're not. This isn't a very old unit. This guy's had it for maybe a year. And um, the, the story on it was running fine for what they were using it for. It was doing a good job, shocking like it's supposed to. And they put it away for a little bit in the room and um, realized the battery was a little low, so put new batteries in it. And then ever since then, I guess it wasn't uh, clicking right or putting out right or something like that. So uh, he's got two of these units, and they're both doing the same thing, he says. So maybe it's just a connection problem. Maybe it's something actually wrong with it. They don't. I don't think they make any parts for this unit. I think this is a little uh, warranty swap out if it's under warranty or it's a throwaway if it's out of warranty. I don't think they make any repair parts for this thing. I, I haven't worked on very many of these things. I've only seen like two or three of them come in the in the shop. All right, well, so we're missing batteries. So um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to hook up uh, power right here and I don't know if this has got an on off switch I don't think it does one thing I don't know is okay there's hot there's ground I don't know what's positive and negative well, there was a piece of black plastic then when I opened it up it, was, it slid down so maybe that was something going on. I don't know. Let's um, get the power supply. I don't think I have any D cell batteries. Let me go take a look if I got any D cells around here. And actually, I did. I had some. Uh, I had some D cells in a box over there. I didn't. Didn't think I did. All right. So I don't know what positive and negative is. Typically, on units, the, the spring part, the flat part, goes against the spring. Typically, it's the way it's supposed to be. But you never know. Some brands might might be different. This is a switch. Okay, there's a switch right there. And I don't hear it doing anything, so let's so make sure these batteries are good. I got these are been sitting there for quite a while, these batteries, but we'll check them real quick, make sure that they're actually good. It should be one and a half volts. You know, one point, almost six. So, check the other battery real quick. Yeah, about the same. One point six, roughly. Well, let's just, I think the other easiest way to do this would be to take my power supply, set it on about three, three or so volts, Right, we got three and a half volts, and I don't know what. It's positive and negative, but this is going to bypass that switch. All right, nothing. It's not even drawn on my amp meter on my power supply. So I'm going to switch this around. Maybe we got the polarity wrong. Still nothing. Hmm. Now, can you get this apart at all? Man. I think it's glued together. Oh, there's plus minus right there. This black plastic thing moves around quite a bit. I don't know. I don't want to pry and prod on this too much because this is warranty item. And I don't want to. There's one side. Let's see if we can get the other side to kind of pop apart.
Man, it looks uh, moisture. There's a cor corrosion right down there. Can that board pop out of there? There's this black plastic thing. I don't. I don't know what the story is with this black plastic thing. Don't look like we can do too much work to the board, but whatever might be controlling it is inside of this potted epoxy thing right here. It's probably all the timing and discharging and all that fun stuff. But there's a little bit of rust right here on the unit, right down inside here. So I imagine this might have got some moisture in it, possibly. Oops. I'd really like to get this board up out of there. Oh, this is, sits right there like that. I don't know. That's where it was kind of sitting at. But there's your positive and negative right here for your battery contact. Let's just put it right to it. See, because it looks like it sits like that. This is our positive, this is our negative, so we're just going to, going to touch right here to see if it, see if it loads down my power supply at all. Nothing. Well, I don't know, this thing's, I guess, shot. I don't know. We'll have to, uh, we'll put it back together, and I'm going to go grab his other one, and we'll do the same kind of run through on it. Yeah, because I don't think they make any... I don't really think they supply parts for this thing. I think it's a kind of a swap out thing or a, Man, that would be easy. <laughs> easy fix if you can get the boards for it. All right, let's grab the second one. See what we can do with that one. All right, here's the other one. Those are a little off center compared to what it was, what it should have been. Let's um try these. Actually, here, let's put the power supply to it. This is easier, so to mess with the switch. Okay, it looks like the left is positive. Black is negative. See it doesn't even load down my power supply. So let's um, pop this one apart, see what it looks like on the inside. It's kind of a Mickey Mouse thing. I, I don't. I mean, I'm sure it's good for what it's designed to do. Yeah. It's like it possibly got water in it. Come on, get in there.
Well, nothing I can really do with it. This this one had got looks like moisture had gotten into this. It looks like moisture had gotten both of them. So I don't know. Made to be outside the clip right onto your fence. Right there, the wire goes right through there and this releases and snaps back, holds it in place. I mean, I like the concept of it. Pretty neat little unit. Well, well that's it for this little video. I can't do much, nothing with them. I'll, I'll talk to the, manufacturer, or the distributor for them that sell these things. I don't think they make any um, parts for it. I think they're, like I said, a warranty swap out. Um, or they're just a... Um, uh, I don't make any parts for me. It needs a new board in there. I can't really do much with that board. That's that little area where the um, uh, all the main electronic pieces are are in that potted epoxy thing. And yeah, I'm not going to dick around with that at all. And surface mount stuff. I don't want to mess with that stuff at all. So, well, until next time, we'll make another video. And if you got a fence charger you like to send us in uh, first to look at, be happy to take a peek at it. But until next time. We'll see you guys later on. Bye-bye.